Hello, welcome to Al's Stock Tips and Daily News Reports. Uh, today, the Federal Chairman Reserve Jerome Powell and the committee are set to meet this week regarding the discussion of dialing back its ultra-low interest rates and policies and slowing down their $120 billion monthly bond purchases that started in early 2020. Many investors fear after analyzing the, the Consumer Price Index, aka the CPI data, it showed a 5.4% jump in June from a year ago. Investors are scared that the Feds might act too late and put the country at risk of another recession. In my opinion, after I analyzed the data for myself, it looks like used and new car sales along with hotel rooms and airlines, airline tickets have definitely driven up this jump. The federal chairman believes that this increase is due to supply chain shortages and ultimately inflation will be seen as a transitory and most certainly a temporary increase and will soon decline just like lumber prices. However, the chairman assured that if things do get out of hand, they will most likely increase interest rates. We recently had a development in Bitcoin and in the rest of the cryptocurrency market. When Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla and SpaceX, followed by Jack Dorsey, the CEO of Twitter and Square, and lastly, Kathy Woods, the CEO of ARK Invest, discussed their bullish sentiments regarding cryptocurrency, this ultimately set the stage for another Bitcoin rally. Furthermore, JP Morgan Chase is assisting all its wealth clients in providing access to buy cryptocurrency. A few takeaways from the meeting uh, is uh, SpaceX owns some Bitcoin. Musk reiterated that Tesla would begin accepting Bitcoin again if miners would rely more on cleaner energy sources. China's scrutiny in shutting down Bitcoin mining operations that have relied heavily on coal has actually helped, in fact, catalyzed the opportunity that Tesla will start accepting Bitcoin in a matter of time. Kathy Wood stressed the global importance of how Bitcoin can help create a stable currency that will help historically marginalized countries have access to a decentralized blockchain technology. And as you see here, um, once this meeting was uh, um, once this meeting was done, it didn't take too long until Bitcoin touched 29,000 and rallied all the way up and I believe uh, broke the uh, $40,000 mark. Um, this picture was taken uh, today about um, where the price of Bitcoin is right now. And uh, here's a funny video of Elon being Elon. Uh, and I'm just gonna go ahead and play it for you. In general, I'm a supporter of, of Bitcoin. Um, and if the price of Bitcoin goes down, I, I, uh, I lose money. I, I'm not sort of, you know, um, you know, I might pump, but I don't dump. <laughs> exactly. So he was talking about uh, uh, that and um, you should have seen the looks on uh, um, the other interviewers' uh, faces. But the, the important takeaway here is that Bitcoin is here to stay. In general, I'm... Uh, Amazon is planning to hire a digital currency, uh, which uh, is evident in their recent job posting. An Amazon spokesperson confirmed this by stating, We believe the future will be built on new technologies that enable modern, fast, and, and inexpensive payments, and hope to bring that future to Amazon customers as soon as possible. Rollback and mask mandates uh, have already been set in LA County. In fact, California and New York City require vaccinations or require tests every week now. Mayo Clinic just issued a statement that, that falls in line of where California and New York are headed. In my experience, once one institution issues a change in policy, especially a leading institution, many will follow. I would like to wish all of the people that are watching my love and support. I pray that we all beat this pandemic once and for all and understand that we are not done and we must remain vigilant. The Senate leader, um, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer and the rest of Congress continue their debate regarding the physical and social infrastructure bill. It is, to, it is of my understanding that Republicans agree on the physical infrastructure bill but disagree on the social infrastructure bill. Since the Democrats control the Senate House majority they have an opportunity called budget reconciliation to pass the social infrastructure bill without any help from the Republicans. 
due to the proximity of the 2022 elections. President Biden and the Democratic Party want to show the American people that they are working in bipartisanship for the physical infrastructure bill. However, it is very clear that the social infrastructure bill will be passed without any Republican votes. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer has introduced a bill to deschedule cannabis from the Controlled Substance Act. From an investment standpoint, in my opinion, this will cause marijuana stocks to rally. A particular stock that I like in the marijuana sector is ticker symbol TLRY. Earlier this year, the stock was hovering just shy of $70. Now it is currently trading at $12.72 at the time of this video. It is important to know uh, today the stock market was definitely um, in some bearish territory. Uh, the reason being is we are currently awaiting at the me creating this video um, in the after hours today on Tuesday for Apple, AMD, Microsoft, Google um, to go ahead and release their earnings. Apple, you know, again, it's a you know over two trillion dollar company. Um, this will set the stage of essentially where the tech sector is headed. Um, for quite some time now, a lot of um, evaluation has been placed on value plays. And a lot of articles out there have been saying, dump your growth stocks and focus on value, especially with the CPI data coming coming in. Um, notable things also to look at is Teladoc, Starbucks, and tomorrow, before open, Boeing, Shopify, Pfizer, McDonald's, Spotify, um, and some other uh, companies that um, are really well known to the public. After closing, Facebook. Ford is a big one, especially with their electric vehicles that they just created with their Mustang. PayPal, Qualcomm with their 5G networks um, will be reporting after close uh, on Wednesday tomorrow. On Thursday, some notable ones that just screams out to you here is Amazon and you have some Pinterest and you, know, you have Upwork and T-Mobile. Friday, we have ExxonMobil. Chevron and uh, definitely with the whole OPEC FUD going on this will be good to see where uh, um, and, you know P PNG but um, more specifically where does oil and gas um, uh, uh, where does it head uh, for the future and are we going to be focusing on value plays or are we going to continue going back into the growth stock sector uh, uh, um, which is uh, I personally think we are um, but uh, no one knows where the market's headed we also have IDEX as well, which is a big one in the meme stock um, uh, um, Wall Street bets community. So first off, I would like to apologize if uh, this first video was uh, cringy. Um, I will, I promise you, I will get better. Uh, if you like this content and want to know more information on how to grow your wealth, please smash that like button, hit the subscribe and notification bell. Please also comment down below on what topics you would like me to cover. Uh, I'm investing more into bringing you the purest, unbiased information po that you know that possibly exists. I'm also learning um, how to use Final Cut Pro uh, to give you the most um, entertaining, you know, entertainment uh, um, in your valuable time that you're investing in me. So I really appreciate that. Uh, I wanted to take a moment to talk to you a little bit about my story. When I was 15, I was homeless and destitute, and I always wondered basically how people became wealthy. Throughout all my education of uh, three bachelor's degrees, a master's, and soon to be completed medical doctorate degree, aspiring to become a brain surgeon, throughout all those courses, not one person taught me how to become financially independent. And I believe that's a weakness in our country, and we, and we know that. We always say it under our breaths, like we wish high schools teaches about taxes, how to do taxes, and investing, and credit card, and how to get build, and cred build credit. Um, so, uh, um, you know, I, I'm, I'm here to give thanks to the country that has given me everything. I went from homelessness to, you know, ultimately going to become a brain surgeon. And I just got to give back to the country that has given so much to me. I found some success in, um, in the stock market. Not only am I a medical, a third year medical student, I also am a president of a nonprofit. I am a day slash swing fundamental and technical analysis trader. I combine uh, different types of investment strategies uh, like debt to equity ratio, current ratios, and looking at annual 10K reports and really analyzing the growth of a stock and um, just um, the whole holistic perspective and um, assessing whether this uh, company 
uh, um, will be successful in the future and most importantly not become bankrupt or not file for bankruptcy um, you know it, it's a shame that a student's aspiration to change this world has to risk has to be at risk of being in debt and it's um, it's 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 one of the weak spots that we have in terms of education. However, I do believe um, you know America symbolizes a beacon of hope, uh, which is why I'm I'm here uh, um, to give back. Uh, so I would I would like to create more videos um, uh, that pretty much analyzes all of these components and show you stocks before even Wall Street pours their money into it, which is great because you'll be able to appreciate that growth as well. Um, I've recognized some patterns and I just want to uh, bring that uh, to you. But not only that, uh, unfortunately, um, there is a, um, a lot of news out there that's designed to make you feel a certain way. And it's misinformation and I'm really sick and tired of this. So I would like this uh, channel to also be a daily news report to bring you um, unbiased news that's happening in our country right now. So uh, thank you for joining my channel. Uh, God bless you and your family, and thank you.